I'll take a question from the gentleman's side. Could you please state your name and occupation? And I also remind the non-Muslims who are with us that you have a priority. So if you have a question, please make yourself known and you will be assisted to the microphone. Sure. We're about to come to the last few questions. Uh, sister, please stay there and maybe one more brother may follow depending on the answer. Brother. Good evening. My name is Satish. I'm a non-Muslim. I, am, I believe in the philosophy of Islam, but I am not converted to Islam. Shall I be given the place in paradise? If you believe in Islam, there is no reason for you not to convert to Islam. Because you see, in Islam, belief leads to action. In Islam, true belief leads to action. Let me give you an example. If your boss tells you, that you must complete this project within the next week, whoever doesn't do so will be fired. If you truly believe in your boss and you need that job, you are not going to be lazy on that job. You're going to work and you're going to make sure that when that week finishes, you have done your job. If the weather forecast says it will rain today severely, you will take precautions. You're going to take an umbrella. Maybe you're not going to take a road where you think it will flood. Because you believe in this fact, you act upon it. In Islam, faith necessitates actions. When you have true faith, you must proclaim that faith. You must announce it by the testimony. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. And once you have announced it, you must act upon it by praying to God, by giving charity to the poor, by fasting the month of Ramadan. You must show your devotion and dedication in action and in word and in belief. And this is a fundamental point of Islam. So I ask you, if you're ready to embrace Islam, and you believe in Islam, why don't you embrace it? Why don't you accept Islam? We don't know when death will come to us. We don't know when the angel of death will come and take our souls away. What is preventing you from this important step? A step that is more important than any other decision that you have made. I ask you right here and now, that if you believe in Islam, that you should embrace it. Are you willing to do so? If you're willing to do so, just raise your hand. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Please stay at the mic. You can have the microphone turned on again. Brother, you, if it doesn't turn on, come to the stage. Okay. Actually, I want him to come to the stage. Come Please to the come stage. to the stage, brother. Allahu Akbar. We have Brother Satish Babu in front of us today who has studied Islam and has come to the realization and conclusion that this is indeed the ultimate and the only and the legitimate religion from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today is the day that Alhamdulillah Allah Azza wa Jal has placed in his heart the intention and will to convert to Islam. And it is a great honor and pleasure to all of us here that we are witnessing this event. Satish, I will say the testimony in Arabic and I want you to repeat after me. Okay, can you come here? Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illalha, Wa, Wa, Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. I bear witness and testify. I bear and witness to testify that there is no God that is worthy of worship. There is no other God thirsty and worship except for Allah. 
except for Allah. And I bear witness and testify. I bear and witness and testify that Muhammad is his messenger. That the mess Muhammad is his messenger. Takbir. 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 Allahu Akbar. This is a great honor and pleasure for us, brothers. And this is not something in earn, uh, said in joke. I want you to take his phone number and take his address and invite him over to your house. He has now joined your family. It is our family. We must welcome him with open arms. I want you to invite him over and congratulate him and treat him like you would your blood brother. He is more important to us than a blood brother. He is our new brother in Islam. You have joined another you have a, a large family sitting in front of you. This family will take care of every need of yours. Anything that you need, we are all sitting here for you. Brothers, I want you to make sure you teach this brother how to pray, how to fast, how to read the Quran. You invite him over for Eid. Brothers and sisters, if you don't do this, who is going to do it? On Eid day, who is going to invite him over and show him the spirit of Eid? He does not have any family members who are Muslim. You are his family. You need to take him. So when he goes down stage, I want to make sure he doesn't get to his car until at least 100 of you have taken down his name and phone number and you're going to invite him over for the best food, the best dishes, treat him like your brother, real brother, and teach him about Islam. Show him the true spirit of Islam. And inshaAllah, may Allah make him a means of guidance for the rest of his family and relatives.